The Tory leadership contest is in its third week now and in the latest, British Conservatives Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss underwent their first drilling in front of the party members in a bid to succeed the caretaker Prime Minister Boris Johnson. The hustings in Leeds is the opening bout of 12 nationwide events, after which the grassroots members will choose between Sunak and Truss as the next Tory leader. The two candidates who are vying to be the next Prime Minister of the UK sparred over a host of issues, their radical differences on the economy, yet again a prominent feature in the debate. Speaking at the event, the UK Foreign Minister Listra said that the windfall taxes send out a wrong message about Britain being open for business. She further promised to cut taxes if she becomes the next Prime Minister of the UK. We need to be bold and we need to do things differently. And what I would do as your Prime Minister is I would launch a plan for economic growth. First of all, reversing the increases in national insurance that we promised not to do in our manifesto. I don't believe in windfall taxes because they put off future investment. What we should be doing is encouraging Shell and other companies to invest in the United Kingdom because we need to get our productivity up. Meanwhile, former Chancellor Rishi Sunak denounced Truss's fairy tale economics, vowing to tame surging inflation first. However, the former Chancellor did admit on being an underdog against the Foreign Secretary Liz Truss. Of course, once we grip inflation and ensure that mortgage rates don't rise and cripple people, I'm going to cut taxes. Because I'm a Conservative, of course I'm going to deliver tax cuts. Sunak was also grilled for betraying Johnson by resigning as the Chancellor of the Exchequer. While addressing grassroots members, Sunak faced accusations of stabbing Johnson in the back. To which the former Chancellor had this to say, listen in. So thank you, Matthew, for asking the question. So what, you know, why did I resign? It was a very difficult decision. It wasn't one I took lightly. Uh, and you're right, I'm very grateful to the PM for giving me the job of Chancellor. But as you also saw over the past two and a half years, I gave my everything to that job. Apart from this, Sonak was also criticised for wearing expensive shoes and clothes. Taking to Twitter, the UK Cultural Secretary, Nadine Doris, tweeted, Newspaper reports that highlighted Rishi Sunak wearing bespoke suit worth $4,000 and Prada loafers worth $600. Say immediately that I've paid. Meanwhile, in a major boost, UK Defence Secretary Ben Wallace endorsed Liz Truss as the next Conservative leader and Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. In a statement, Wallace said that Sunak was a capable Cabinet Minister who could do the job of the Prime Minister, but it was only Truss who has both the breadth and depth of experience to handle issues like the Ukraine war, the pandemic and the inflation. According to YouGov, Truss is ahead of Sunak in the opinion polls by 24 points. If Truss defeats Sunak, she will become the country's third woman Prime Minister after Margaret Thatcher and Theresa May. But if Sunak beats Truss, he will be Britain's first leader of Indian origin. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.